Ladies and gentlemen, convocation is now in session. As Chancellor, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our 297th convocation. To all our graduates, first let me say congratulations. We have worked hard to achieve this, and graduation represents a major milestone in your lives. At convocation, we assemble as a university community, the University of Western Ontario community, to celebrate and recognize your achievements at Western and to wish you every success in the future. However, your learning days are far from over. Learning is a lifelong process, and Western has not provided you with the answers to all questions. At most, we hope that what stays with you is a way of thinking objectively and approaching problems with an open mind and a healthy respect for new ideas, all tempered with compassion and empathy for the human condition. You are forever a cherished member of this great university, founded more than a century ago. We welcome you into the Western family, and congratulations again to each and every one of you. Now today, we also confer honorary degrees upon Craig and Mark Kielberger in acknowledgement for their work as founders of Free the Children and leaders today, Me to We which exemplify their commitment to social justice and responsibility around the world. I am delighted to welcome them to this convocation and to present our distinguished candidates. I now call upon Principal David Sylvester, King's University College. Craig Kielberger and Mark Kielberger. The plight of the poorest members of the human family, whether next door or continents away, is too often ignored. While millions suffer from hunger, disease, and oppression, many of us find the prospect of making a difference in the lives of the marginalized an overwhelming and even unimaginable undertaking. In the face of such hopelessness, Mark and Craig Kielberger have chosen to act, and in doing so have provided a compelling vision and an organizational framework for change. Across the globe, the Kielberger name is synonymous with a passion for social justice and an ability to find creative solutions to enduring injustices. Together, they have fought for the forgotten and the voiceless and against the environmental degradation that undermines sustainable community. They have done so through selfless example and by forging partnerships of integrity. Their leadership has inspired a generation of young people to take ownership for their role in our connected global community. In this place of learning, we acknowledge as gift the ability to motivate an army of young men and women who want to make a difference. We also recognize that Mark and Craig have created a vision that has marshaled the resources of governments, entrepreneurs, and established community leaders around the globe. This remarkable ability to reach out across continents and cultures to many thousands of leaders, young and not so young, is what we celebrate here today. From a very young age, the Kilberger brothers sought out opportunities to make a difference. In 1995, at the age of 12, Craig imagined Free the Children, an organization that continues to stand against the abuses of child labor. More recently, Mark and Craig co-founded Me to We, a social enterprise that harnesses the profits from the sale of socially responsible products to support local environmental and justice initiatives. They share the stories of their work through best-selling books, public presentations, and syndicated columns, and they are masters of social media. Tens of thousands of Canadian students have gathered at We Days to hear the call to awareness and action from a range of international speakers, such as the Dalai Lama, Elie Wiesel, Robert Kennedy, Jane Goodall, and Al Gore, and so on. And it's these men's doing, the, men of the doing of these two men. How does one measure the fruits of these many labors? Is it the establishment of some 650 schools in more than 450, 445 countries? Is it the provision of clean water and health care to more than a million people? Is it the launching of hundreds of local environmental projects? Or is it the inspiration of a generation of young leaders committed to carrying these initiatives in the decades to come. 
And in all this, the Kielbergers are no strangers to academe. A magna cum laude graduate in international relations from Harvard University, Mark completed his law degree at Oxford as a Rhodes Scholar. Craig holds a degree in peace and conflict studies from Toronto and an MBA from York Schulich School of Business. The list of recognitions is exhaustive, but includes, in no particular order, and assigned to no one in particular, the youngest ever recipients of the Ontario Medals of Good Citizenship, Canada's list of top 40 under 40, Medal for Meritorious Service, Alumnus of the Year for the Toronto District Catholic School Board, Nelson Mandela Human Rights Award, the World Economic Forum Young Global Leaders Award. In 2007, Mark and Craig were named recipients of the Order of Canada. Three times now, Free the Children has been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Not bad for a couple of Catholic school boys from Thornhill, Ontario. Clearly, you can get here from there. Authors, activists, humanitarians, and great communicators, Craig and Mark Kilberger embody the values of our university through their servant leadership, commitment to social justice, and ability to think critically and creatively in the face of real-world problems. It is difficult to think of two candidates more fitting for an honorary degree awarded here today at the University of Western Ontario in the presence of the graduates and families from King's University College. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor and in the name of Senate, I am delighted to ask you to confer the degree of Doctors of Laws honoris causa upon Mark and Craig Kielberger. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor, I admit you, Craig, to the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa. <laughs> and by the same authority, I admit you, Mark, to the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa. Congratulations, both Dr. Kielbergers. Well done. I should now like to invite Dr. Craig Kielberger on behalf of our two newest alumni to address convocation. Eminent Chancellor, Mr. President, Mr. Principal, members of the faculty, distinguished guests, family, friends, and of course, graduates. It is an extraordinary honor to receive this recognition from a university, but particularly one with which both my brother and I have been honored to be associated and where so many students have been involved in the work of free children. So it is truly a privilege and pleasure to be able to join you here at the University of Western Ontario to celebrate the accomplishments of, the Uni of King's University College 2011 graduating class. Now, as you might imagine, my brother and I, we don't often quote former American President George W. Bush in our remarks. <laughs> However, standing before his own alma mater, which is Yale University, he addressed the graduating class, and he once said, congratulations to those of you who got straight A's. I'm sure you'll go on to do great things. And to those of you who finished with a C minus average, well, perhaps one day you too will be President of the United States. <laughs> Graduates in all sincerity, both my brother Mark and I appreciate that to be 
King's grads, you spent many long days and long nights working on essays and studying with exams, maybe even a few all-nighters, or maybe more than just a few. And to be here today, you deserve to be incredibly proud, as do all of those who helped to make this accomplishment possible. Your parents, spouses, family, partner, friends, members of the faculty, all those who for many years have been encouraging you. And so I want to provide you an opportunity that my brother and I so deeply cherished when we graduated, to be able to celebrate and recognize all of those quiet heroes among us, to recognize family and friends with a round of applause. As members of King's graduating class, you leave here with a tremendous accomplishment to your credit, to reach a level of education that very few in the world attain. As you take a moment to celebrate the support provided by family and friends around you today, we also ask that you take a moment to recognize and to think about those who are not as fortunate to be here today. We live in a world where 113 million children between the ages of 5 and 11 years of age, have never once stepped foot into a classroom, never learned how to read and write, never learned how to count the money that they earn, never learned their own rights. We spend our time with children overseas, for example, who work in the mines and the sugarcane fields of Brazil instead of being in classrooms or children in rural parts of Pakistan who are still to this day bought and sold as slaves, bonded laborers, sometimes paying off debts taken out even by their parents or their grandparents and passed generation to generation. Or children who were recruited as child soldiers in Sierra Leone, West Africa, over 30,000 children fought in that war. And how they would recruit is the rebels, a group called the RUF, the Revolutionary United Front, would burn the schools to the ground and they would execute the teachers, leaving no more safe spaces for children. Both Mark and I will never forget being in the Philippines, in just the outskirts of Manila, the capital, and garbage dump there. And we asked a young boy, an eight-year-old child named Jeffrey, if he'd ever been to school. And he stopped for a long time and he looked up at his father who was working right next to him in the garbage dump and he asked his father, what is school? Because not only had he never been to school, he had never even once left the garbage dump where he was born, and where he worked, and which was the entire world as he knew it. As you heard, both Mark and I, we strive to build schools around the world. And when I speak of the special connection we have with you, the graduating class, it's because we've visited many times, and we know how hard so many of you worked with many organizations and charities to leave your legacy. But one of them was Free the Children. And the students here today, many of you were involved in building the, the Menwangaza school block in Kenya with us, funded by King students. I know many of you traveled to Kenya as part of that to literally lay the bricks to see the walls rise, to hoist up the roof, and to share your gift of education with children around the world. Because although we build schools with your help, we certainly collectively learn the greatest lessons from the children who we serve. We'll never forget being in Thailand with a group of young volunteers. And we were walking down the street and a young girl about eight or nine years old called out to us and she cupped her hand and touched her mouth and it's a universal sign in developing countries when children are hungry and they're asking for food. And one of our young volunteers from Canada handed her an orange. And we kept walking, but we stopped for a few moments to look back and we saw she was holding this orange in her hands. She was obviously hungry, famished. You could see it in her eyes and how she was staring at the orange. She was peeling at it, but more than that, she was tearing it apart. But she stopped before having a single bite. And she looked at all the other children on the streets who were also hungry. And she looked down at that orange in her hands, and she started to share an equal peace with each one of those children. 
In that moment, Mark and I both learned more about compassion, about gratitude, and about the meaning of life than we've ever learned from any classroom. And so graduates, with great humility, we stand in front of you and we ask you, will you look around at the world, both in the local and the global community? Will you look at the gift that very soon will be in your hands and ask yourself not only what a university education can do for you, but how you can use it to help others? As graduates of an institution, not only of higher learning, but also of higher values, of graduates of a Catholic institution, how will you share the teachings that you've received today? How will you measure success? How will you measure your legacy? Because we all know deep in our heart that it's something more than just the size of our bank account, more than the type of car we drive or the title on our business card. It's very easy as we graduate from university to forget everything else we learned except the very simple equation, but one that's very tempting, of MBA equals BMW. But we believe that legacy is something more lasting. And I don't mean having a building with your name or you know, a street bearing your name or the initials. You know, we saw in the past months the political tides turn. In the past years, Wall Street brought to its knees by the financial crisis. Even the pyramids get covered by the sands of time. A true legacy is something more lasting. A true legacy is a living legacy. Every time that a woman of color sits at the front of a bus, we see the legacy of the civil rights activist Rosa Parks. Every time that a woman in this country casts a ballot, we see the legacy of Canada's famous five. Just think about it. If you've been important in the life of a child, for the family, for parents here, you've left an extraordinary legacy right in front of you today. If you bring joy and meaning and gratitude to your family, you leave an extraordinary legacy. Nelson Mandela's mother left an extraordinary legacy, as did Terry Fox's father. The person who taught us the true meaning of legacy was perhaps one of the most iconic individuals of compassion of our time, Mother Teresa. Mark and I had the honor to work alongside her in Calcutta before she passed away. Mother Teresa didn't graduate top of her class. She didn't even go on to university. She wasn't wealthy. It's measured by the size of her bank accounts. She wasn't beautiful. It's how we define what's on the front page of fashion magazines. She was about that tall. She was a tiny woman, but she had a big heart. And that's what made her such a powerful person. And as we were leaving, I worked up the courage to ask her this question that I'd always wanted to ask her. And it's the same that I want to leave you with here today. Because she walked me to the doors of the mother house. I looked at her and I said, how do you do it? How do you work every single day knowing that people around you are dying and you can't help every single one? And she smiled at the question. She took my hands in hers. And Mother Teresa had hands that felt like sandpaper from a lifetime of service. She looked me in the eyes. And when Mother Teresa looked you in the eyes, you felt like she was looking into your soul. And she said, you have to realize that in our lives, we do know great things but we can do small things with great love. And so on behalf of Mark and myself, we're both honored and humbled to stand before you and to applaud your accomplishments. The University of Western Ontario, King's University College, graduating class of 2011, on all that you've accomplished but especially for your new opportunities to take action, however small, but with great love and to truly change this world for the better. Thank you.
Thank you, Craig and Mark, for joining us this afternoon and for sharing your words and wisdom. And more importantly, your very powerful message by sharing your various experiences. And perhaps even more importantly, opening our eyes a bit more on the plight of the children around the world. Given the enormity of the global impact you each have made so profoundly in your early years, and the countless accolades you have received for your achievements. There is little I can say about you that hasn't been said already. So let me simply take this opportunity to encourage you to persist, to persevere, and to educate the rest of us. With the important work that you do, indeed you are the exceptional role models for the kind of young global leaders that we aspire to educate and inspire here at Western and at King's College. We wish you both all the very best for continued success. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me once again in congratulating our newest honorary Doctor of Laws, Dr. Craig Kilbarger and Dr. Mark Kilbarger. At this time, I take pleasure in asking the Dean to present the recipient of the King's University College Award for Excellence in Teaching. King's University College Award for Excellence in Teaching was initiated in 1997 in recognition of the college's commitment to teaching and in recognition of the excellence of its faculty as dedicated and committed teacher scholars. Mr. Chancellor, I would ask the Professor Antonio Calcagno step forward. Antonio Calcagno has been on the Dean's Honor Roll of Teaching Excellence in each year since he joined our Department of Philosophy and Religious Studies in 2007. Not only popular with his students, Antonio has earned the respect of all of his colleagues. As one colleague states, he quickly creates a relaxed environment of mutual respect that is oriented around the open pursuit of knowledge. His expectations are high, but students rise to the challenge. He simply brings out the best in his students and his colleagues. One student asserted, quote, his lectures make you want to sit in a class for more than the three hours. Whew. Another noted, Antonio's senior courses have become a phenomenon at King's. Still another describes him as a creator in the classroom, someone who, to paraphrase Gabrielle Marcel, radiates charity and love from their being. An outstanding teacher and a most accomplished scholar, Antonio is fulfilling a calling to excite young and old minds to the joy of learning, to encourage our undergraduates as well as his colleagues to discover the fullness of their humanity. What more could King's ask of one of its professors? Mr. Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present Professor Antonio Calcagno so that you, along with the university, may recognize his outstanding contributions to the love of learning at King's University College. I now take pleasure in asking the principal to present the convocation, our newly, appo newly appointed Professor Emeritus. Mr. Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present to you Dr. Gerald Killen. Gerald Killen joined the King's University College faculty in 1973. He was promoted full professor in 1984 appointed academic dean in 1992, and served as principal of King's from 1997 to 2009. Over his illustrious career, Dr. Killen published three books, developed several courses in Canadian history, 
including the first course in environmental history offered at the University of Western Ontario. Dr. Killen has served as chair of the Ontario Conservation Review Board and the Thames Canadian Heritage River Committee. He's president of the Ontario Historical Society, the Champlain Society, and as chair of the Association of Catholic Colleges and Universities of Canada. He is currently board chair of St. Joseph's Healthcare London. In 2008, he received a Doctor of Letters, honoris causa, from St. Thomas University in Fredericton, New Brunswick. It is with great pleasure, Mr. Chancellor, that I present to you for, for Professor Emeritus Status, Gerald Killen. Will the candidates for degrees please rise? Mr. Chancellor, I'm very much honored to present to you the candidates who have successfully completed their academic programs at Western. I ask you to admit them to the degrees and diplomas for which they have been recommended by the Senate of our university. Under the authority vested in me by the Senate, you will be admitted to the degrees and to the diplomas as shall be announced by the public orators. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Will the candidates please be seated? Mr. Chancellor, graduating students, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, convocation is the single most important time of celebration in the life of the University of Western Ontario. Today, we honor those graduating students who, through their determination, hard work, intelligence, have met the demanding standards of a Western degree. Western's affiliated colleges, Brescia University College, Huron University College, and King's University College bring a special dimension to the undergraduate experience at Western. They provide a liberal arts college community environment within the larger context of a major research university. Their faculty and students have access to all the resources that a university the scale of Western can provide, while enabling them to sustain the academic and social community fostered by their own distinct identities. Today is also a proud day for all of us associated with Western, including our Board of Governors and Senate, our faculty, our staff, and our many friends in the community. It is wonderful to see so many members of our community of learning who have taken the time to join us and celebrate this important day in the lives of our graduates and the life of the university. Today, those of you crossing the stage join a special group known as Alumni Western that numbers more than 268,000 people living in 150 different countries around the world. Mr. John Everhard is here representing the Alumni Association, and I would ask him to stand and be recognized. <laughs> Western's Board of Governors is charged with responsibility for the overall governance of this institution. Today, we have with us Mr. Keith Zerbecki, representing the Board of Governors. I would ask him to stand and be recognized. Though affiliated with the University of Western Ontario, each of the colleges have autonomous governing boards. We have with us today Ms. Mary McLaughlin, Chair, King's University College Board of Directors, and I'll ask her to stand and be recognized. <laughs> I'd also like to acknowledge and thank the parents, spouses, children, relatives, and friends of our graduates who are here today. This celebration would not have been possible without your loving support. Now I ask that our graduating students please rise once again, turn around and face your family and friends, and give them a round of applause for supporting your journey.
Now let me congratulate once again the remarkable women and men who graduate today with Western degrees. Today, you become partners in the outstanding academic achievements of the University of Western Ontario. My warmest wishes to each and every one of you. Before we proceed with the granting of degrees, I have two special requests for those of you in the audience. First, please withhold your applause for the graduates crossing the platform until each group of graduates has received degrees. You'll get that signal from the public auditor from the left-hand side of the platform. This will ensure that every graduate receives your full courtesy throughout this wonderful ceremony. Second, we know that photographs are an important memory of this wonderful location for our graduates as well as their family and friends. To ensure that you in the audience have the best opportunity to get that very special picture of that very special graduate, I ask that you do the following. When your special graduate is approximately 30 names in the program from crossing the stage, so which means that I'm requesting you to follow the program, <laughs> please proceed to the area along the wall to my right, where a number of our friends are standing, so that the ushers can then guide you forward to this spot where you can take that picture. Uh, either, I guess, on film or on digital devices. Uh, and after you have captured a special picture, uh, we would request uh, you to please return to your seats so that the next person can do the same. I now call on the public auditors to introduce the candidates for degrees. Mr. Chancellor, the following is a candidate for the degree of Master of Theological Studies, Anne Louise Watt. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from King's University College for the degree Bachelor or Baccalaureate of Arts Honors Program. Cynthia Anguillar, Scott Leonard Alexander, Ganapriya Anin the Nantan. Laura Andrew, Elsie Angulo, Kirsten Archer.
Christine Atchison, Marissa Justine Balde, Kirsten Ballant Skerritt. Jenna Marie Beach, Jared Arev Bahar, Paul Robert Billier. Adrian Blonsky. Katarina Babanovich, Luciana Lowell Brazil, Leanna Berklacha, Aaron James Brown, Justin Brown. Kaylin Elizabeth Burke, Karen Michelle Carenza, Chantel Rita Kazar. Layla Shabar, Damian Cislak, Jonathan Coles. Shanley Michelle Connors, Brittany Michelle Coulter, Angela Elizabeth Davis. Christina Michelle Davis, Bailey Christine Deadman, Nicole Denemy. Christina DeVito, Sebastian Dish, Karen Enemy. Merouche Eshadafar, Michelle Everett, Stephanie Fair. Patrick David Fidlarski, Sean Fitzmorris, Paula Jelina. <laughs> Megan Gilmore, Stacy Griffin. Monica Guzzi. Michael Andrew Haight. Emeralda Halderman. James Michael Hames. Lindsay Joan Hanan, Elizabeth Harkins, 
Vanessa Harkins. Aaron Douglas Hine, Sean Hendricks, Robert Hennessy. Ami Hodgkinson, Andrea Holt, Jonathan Houghton. Sean Hunter, Megan Nicole Houston, Esther Ip. Paul Joseph Irish, Victoria Jane Jansen, Tanaz Javan. Heather Olivia Lacey Jones, Zoe Jones, Vanessa Jr. Deanna Carbassian, Dane Kent, Amy Catherine Kemp. <laughs> Stacia Kidd, Kiriaki Sonia Costacos. Daniel Kudla. <laughs> Shannon Lapp, Yanan Lee, Joseph Lindsay. Susan Long, Stephanie Lynn McLean, Jeremy Marin. Sean Kenneth Marionettes, Amanda Meredith Martin, Caitlin McQuaig. Jessica McGregor, Jessica Laurel McKean, Michael Robert McMahon. Sarah Andrea McPhee, Richard Liam McWatt, Fiona Meek. Menno Meyer, Kaylee Alicia Nicole Mero, Katie Amanda Miles, okay. 
Liana Mistretta, Kyle Magavro, Blake Morrison. Sarah Muma, Shannon Murray, Gregory Nowicki. Matthew Oglesby, Sarah Olson, Diego Ortez. Justine Pelsich, Christina Palmieri, Megan Marie Beatty Perry. <laughs> Megan Juliana Pasherbeck, Donna Perry, Sean Patrick Quigg. Taylor Randall, Ashley Elizabeth Rattel, Matthew Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate the uh, celebration mode, but when we hear hoots that obscure the announcement of names, it's not fair. So can I please ask you to refrain from the hoots and we'll give you a big chance to applaud at the right time. Joel Riche, Adam Riley, Lauren Robichaud, Monica Sanchez Calvo, Michael David Saxton, Olinda Amida da Silva Romeo. Jacob Skinner, John Solomon, Heba Sufan. Yasmin Sufan, Alexandra Angelica Sousa Gomes, Brianna Michelle Steeper. <laughs> Margaret Stevenson, Brianna Marie Stevenson, Jennifer Stewart. Scott Thomas Steyer, Joseph Morris Stacer, Andrea Stokes. <laughs> Ashley Taliana, Richard Albert John Tapp, Sarah Leanne Tennant. Danielle Lee Tisdale, Colleen Van Loon, 
Christopher Vendetti. Shana Nicole Ventura, Julie Walsh, Laura Ann Waters. <laughs> Daniel Stephen John Wetlauer, Sean Wiersma. Emily Suzanne Williams. Alexandra Williamson. Chelsea Wynn. Melissa April Wu. Mandy Youssef, Samara Youssef. Chancellor, the following are the candidates for the degree of Bachelor or Baccalaureate of Management and Organizational Studies Honors Program. Zhu Dan Zhou, Michelle Cotter, Kai Sui. John Alexander Fleming, Tadeus Lucas Glusinski, Brett Higgs. Sin Jin, Jeffrey Cadell, Sandra Ann Costa Trubias. Diana Lau, Matthew Mann, Ian Maudsley. Nathan Rastow, Emily Jane Shinbin, Richard Chad Shire. Felipe Silva Vesga, Rohan Soroya, Krista May Stonehouse. Michael Tabar, Shi Bin Tang, gold medalist, and Peter Tote. Wei Wang, Brittany Lauren Wong, Ka Kun Wong. Menchi Zhao. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor or Baccalaureate of Social Work Honors. 
Mandy Broll, Tatiana Cano, Dana Clifford. Anne Culligan, Catherine Lynn Cossette, Megan Dell. Tasha Densky, Tanya Dufour, Cynthia Dreyft. Okay. Ashley Claire Elsie, Alicia Lynn Farr, Shelley and Philia. Tammy Fisher, Todd Gould, Stephanie Grafetrix. Sarah Grossi, Amy Howlett Leslie, Grace Sue. Eric Keep, Benjamin Mason, Laura Lynn Marucci. Speed okay? Danielle Lindsay Morgan, Pasna Nasir, Susan Marie Newman. Bernadette Patricia Reed, Caitlin Schmidt, Nancy Rose Singer. Dawn Smale, Christine Streeter, Heather Vanderkam. <laughs> Tara Irene Walker, Carolyn Welton, Mark Wood, gold medalist. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor or Baccalaureate of Arts four-year program. Brandy Ogier, Emily Austin, Zayed Blout. Rosada? Christopher Bednards, Rosata Barani, Jeffrey Norman Bushel. Heather Allison Kane, Erica Michelle Campbell, Catherine Ann Campigotto. Yolanda, for the wall. 
Yolanda Lucia Serna, John Chambers, Christopher Chung. Lisa Pierrette Cloutier, Caitlin Conran, Courtney Cook. Colin Dambruscus, Hazem Dowd, Shannon Dawson. Kayla Doan, Patrick Doby, Ian Peter Duckworth. Wahida El Baghdadi, Lina El Qasem, Amy Larissa Ernst. Sarah Ferreira, Lori Amy Gagne, Brendan Gamble. Connor Gamble, Ruben Garcia, Brittany Diampa. Mark Douglas Graham, Jessica Grison, John William John Gunn. James David Guelchmai, Megan Rose McKeeva Hardy, Carly Hart. Caitlin Teresa Hunt, Melissa Jansen, Lindsay Marie Jennings. Laura Johnson, Yasmin Kadri, Alicia Kiliniak. Annie Kaplan, Andrea Stavros Katsurubias, Katarzyna Kubara. Man C. Virginie Lau, Allison Michelle Leach, Nathan Daniel McKenzie. Micah? Okay. McBride? Teresa Micah, Lee Catherine Marshall, Jamie McBride. Ariel McTurk, Gada Madawi, Dominica Marie Miller, gold medalist. <laughs> Jeremy Mitchell, Maharin Mirza, John Gabriel Morrissey.
Charles Matthew Mackenzie Mulhern, Brent Marshall Nagata, Mariam Nauman. Kendall Noble, Natalia Dima Okoko, Caitlin Lorraine Patello. Rachel Marie Pawson, Courtly Lee Pickard, Robert John Powell. Should I mangle your name? <laughs> Congratulations. James Prince, Tyler Putzer, Amanda, Amanda Kristen Rabaska. Debbie Richards, Lisa Richards, Brian Anthony Rodriguez. Anna Rocos, Thomas Rutherford, Daniel Joseph Ryan. Matthew Reinen, Nathaniel Santos, Paula Shaw. <laughs> Justin Skripnik, Nicole Elizabeth Slavinsky, Matt Slomer. Dana Smith, Erin Michelle Steer, Yacinda Marie Louise Stubbs. Tasha Sirowanik, Carly Marie Simeonakis, Kelly Megan Thorpe. Daniel Trackware, Tiffany Yvonne Vanderlinden, Kristen Ann Westerlaken. Gregory Westman, Sarah Ann Wild, Hilary Whipperman. Ping Zhu, Laura Jean Zinn, Craig Jeffrey Solders. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor or Baccalaureate of Management and Organizational Studies. Ardeana Amati, Maria Ani, A. Thomas Andriotti. Le 
Li Chi Cheng, Andrew Colon, Daniel Huevas Gonzalez. Marcos Petkovic, Andrea Diaz, Tracy Ellen Donaldson. Taylor Marie Dunn, Rachel Fisher, Shelley Rhonda Gervais. Jafeng Go, Chris Kewen, Hamza Kalaf. Tia Lu, Jeffrey Longo, Stephanie Marsarella. Horace Simianga, Mark Pietrinano, Caitlin Price. <laughs> Marcy Redman, Chelsea Senzosting, Hani Shahato. Kimberly and Logtenstein, James Wancamo, Michael Young. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor or Baccalaureate of Arts. Michael Bolt, Hillary Brent, Jing Kai. <laughs> Becky Leanne Cavers, Andrew Crawford, Sean William DeMunk. Shauna Eastman, Aza Elisad Fadl, Ashley Fleet. Charlene Garrido, Catherine Gibbs, Courtney Gillis. Paul Gray, Robert Charles Hay, Jenny Patricia Katsaris. Andrew William, William Kyle, Peter Lovell, Zhao Zhang Lu. Carly Lund, Ryan James Martinelli,
Chloe Marantet. Kelly Catherine McGivillray, Michelle McIntyre, James Edward McLaughlin. Olushola, Adyemi Richard Olumgoba, Michael Thomas Phillips, Lauren Purcell. <laughs> Kathleen Margaret Rath, Mary Regan, Ashley Richmond. Patrick Robert Cyril, Kyla Ritchie, Stephen William Smirnos. <laughs> Jocelyn Steyer, Marlon Alejandro Villar Gomez, Homera Wasi. Patricia Carnas. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the Certificate in Grief and Bereavement Studies. Nicole Bruder. Elizabeth Carlton Fast. In the name of the Senate, I grant to the Registrar the authority to confer degrees and diplomas to those candidates whose names appear in the official program, but who are not present today. At this time, I invite Mr. John Eberhard, representing our Alumni Association, to say a few words. Mr. Chancellor, President Chalkman, thank you. Distinguished members of the faculty, honored doctoral recipients, parents and friends, ladies and gentlemen, and now my fellow Western graduates. What a pleasure it is to welcome, on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Western Alumni Association, you as our newest members. It's my great honor to congratulate you and to welcome you to Alumni Western. As the Chancellor and the Pro-Chancellors conferred their degrees, your degrees upon you today. As you walked across this stage, you move from being students at Western to becoming members of our alumni association. You have all worked so very hard to complete your studies and examinations, and today you have received your well-earned degrees. We are so very fortunate here at Western to have world-class graduate and postgraduate programs from the Faculty of Graduate Studies 
and we're so very proud of the graduates from King's University College. You join a growing global community of Western alumni, in fact, one of the largest among Canadian universities. As alumni, we are united by cherished memories, of course, of our time here, particularly of the knowledge and the experience and the friendships that we've gained. The Alumni Association is dedicated to fostering and preserving these important bonds through its many programs and services and the networking opportunities that are offered by it. Wherever you may be in the future, there will be alumni chapters or branches close by. You'll be able to take advantage of things like the Alumni Lectures, the Alumni Gazette, of course, and your return to our annual homecoming events. I am sure that you have found that through your own experiences here at Western, Western does indeed provide what the Globe and Mail has often said, the very best student experience among Canada's leading research-intensive universities. As key stakeholders, we believe as well that UWO provides us the very best alumni experience. All of you have played an important role here at Western, and this will continue as you take advantage of the many alumni Western opportunities. And today, I invite all of you to join us in living our vision, the vision of our association, to share lifelong learning through your support, through your commitment, through your pride and your passion for Western. On behalf of Alumni Western, I congratulate all of you on your achievement today. Welcome you warmly into the transition into membership of our alumni, and perhaps more immediately, I invite you and your guests to a reception in your honor, which will be held at the Elizabeth A. Labatt Hall at King's University, and uh, you will be going there for refreshments, and the, in your honor, you will be served with your friends and your family. To you, your friends and your family, enjoy and embrace the tributes that you so richly deserve today. As you look back with fond memories on your time spent on campus here in London, remember, wherever life takes you, Western always will be your home. Best wishes until we meet again. Farewell. Before closing convocation, I wish to express my appreciation to all who have contributed to the success of the day. And in particular, and on your behalf as well, I want to thank the University of Western Ontario Convocation Brass for their magnificent performance and their director, Professor James Mackay. May I request that the audience remain at their seats while the academic procession leaves the hall. Convocation is now adjourned. Thank you.